takes once here at the Tom's River Pine Bell Arena here in the New Jersey area. TOC Final Four Edition and no longer Final Four for these gentlemen from all the way up north. The Don Bosco Prep Ironmen are back in the finals as we're joined by one half of the tandem duo here at Pine Bell Arena, Ron Harper Jr. Ron, welcome back. It's good to see you again as always here on the co-edition of Voice of Reason. As well as it's all about sports, Marcellus Erlington will join us in a few moments. Can we actually bring that gentleman in, Marcellus Erlington? Gentlemen, you're headed both to respective schools, Rutgers and St. John's tonight, was certainly what shows what makes this a dynamic type of duo. Uh, slow start. Ron, we'll start with you. What, what did Coach Kevin and Miriam say to you starting in the second? Coach Diva said the second quarter we made the switch from Mike to Andean Dahl. And then we had to play better help defense, so we went out and we executed. We brought it down to one going into halftime, and that was big. This, this gentleman right next to you, what a night for him. If yep. he didn't have 10 rebounds tonight, I would have been disappointed. 14 points. I'm going to say another double-double. What does Marcellus Erlington give to this program? He's a double-double machine, and, you know, he just powers his way and bullies his way through people. And without his rebounding, Lord knows where we'd be today. You yourself had a big second half yourself, 17 points, most of which come in the second half. It seemed like we saw the former, Chicago, uh, I guess, blood of the Chicago, former son of Chicago, the Chicago Bull himself. Tonight you played like you were in the NBA finals. What did you say to yourself going into the second half? I told myself that I had to give it my all because I didn't want to come down here. And I know how heartbreaking it was losing to the Packers school last year. And I definitely didn't want to lose in the semifinal, so I was just... I just really wanted to get to the finals really bad, and now we got to go out and do our thing Sunday. I told your, uh, I think it was one of your coaches, that you should actually have your own shirt that says, this time, uh, uh, TOC bound, here we come, and on the back saying, this time it's personal. Would you agree with the fact that it's very personal going uh, back to Trenton on Sunday? I agree 100% it's personal, because you don't want to lose and we're going out there. We're going down to Triton on Sunday, and we're going hungry, and we want to come out to win more than anything. Thank you, Ron. Let's bring in Marcellus Erlington here. Marcellus, first of all, welcome back to the Voice of Reason of the It's All About Sports Network. Congratulations, young man. Every time I see you, you just get better and better. You have left football to pursue a career in basketball at St. John's. Why the Big East? Um, just Chris Mullen came in and took me as family to the whole St. John's program. They were one of the first high major programs to contact me after I made the decision. And they've been looking at me since the summer, you know, since I played travel ball with the players program. And also the, the weekend tournament with Don Bosco. So they were kind of quick to believe in my talents. So that's definitely the reason, the reason why I chose St. John's. You really held Dylan Devaney in checkpoint, under 10 points tonight. Really, was the play of team What a great athlete he certainly is. How big was he down the stretch at 24? Uh, he's definitely, he was definitely big, you know. He's a great player. He has no Division one offers, by the way, which uh, is hard to believe. Yeah, you know, he's a great player. You know, he can shoot from anywhere. So, yeah. The game plan our coach gave us is to get out to him, whether it's 10 feet or 35 feet, just get out, get a hand up. And you know he hit one, but we made sure we had to um, stay grounded on most of his shots and just put a hand up. And he did a good job of that for the rest of the game. We're back with the TLC finals for the second consecutive year. As I told Ron, it's the TLC or bus, and it really is personal. If it's Roselle Catholic or Nottingham, how serious are you taking this game? I'm taking it real serious. You know, I really want to mention you know, last year we was kind of too excited to get there. This year we have bigger players to win it. Yeah, we want to win it this year. Yeah. You know they're both great teams, but we come out and we execute, we play our game, and you know, we might come out to win. So definitely we want to come in, make sure we're locked in the pack, you know, listen to the coaches, and just play our game. You have 13 points as well from Adam Rosme. Marcel Sorrenton, Rod Harper, always a pleasure to have you here at the TOC semifinals here at 5 Bell